Dear chess friends, welcome to Out of Chess Channel and welcome to a beautiful and spectacular gameplay by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16. Today we'll see the fish battling it out against another top engine clover in a beautiful King's Indian attack. And I'm a really big fan of the King's Indian attack because I like to play the King's Indian defense with the black pieces. But the King's Indian attack is of course a reversed way to play the King's Indian setup. But of course uh, with the good side that you're playing with plus one tempo. So you're playing the faster setup uh, of the King's Indian defense. So in my opinion really really beautiful opening theory that you see also here by Stalker 16. And if you are bothered maybe with your results with your play e4 where you may be not satisfied with your outcomes with your play with the move d4 i think uh playing the king's indian attack is perfectly fine as your preparation with the white pieces so pay good attention as i said how the fish is playing this beautiful opening because in the beginning it seemed to me that this could be a boring game because a uh, stockfish play this positional sort of static setup but then afterwards stockfish lack the position explode pay good attention as i said in my opinion a brutal beautiful game here played by the fish so with the white pieces the stockfish opened with the move knight to f3 the clover engine uh responded with d5 we have now the move g3 the king's indian attack we have c6 building this solid structure on likes worse building this slavic formation of pawns here battling simply against uh the slice were bishop on this long diagonal we have bishop to g2 anyway by stockfish and now after move knight you have six usually uh, in these types of structures you go with d3 knight to d2 uh, and then maybe c4 and e4 but stockfish plays as i said in the beginning a more static a more positional approach a more symmetrical approach in which you have i think a tough time to create an imbalanced position but don't worry stockfish always always finds ways uh, to complicate things uh, so so far as i said in the beginning it seemed to me that it would be a boring game but uh, don't worry this would be really really spectacular game so g6 over here play by the clover engine kingside casting bishop to g7 now again knight to d2 with the preparation to hit the center with the move c4 on e4 but it's of course a little bit harder because you have already advanced to pawn d4 you didn't play d3 we have a knight to a6 by clover um, keeping the flexibility of the light square bishop because if you play knight from uh, b to d7 here then you're blocking out uh, the potential activity of the bishop so from this square still the knight have has good access maybe to the square b4 Stop Stockfish continues with b3 anyway, prepares of course to play c4, kingside casting, bishop to b2, we have now this double fear hat to set up, uh, Stockfish is still uh, keeping the position very very solid and is preparing now as I said c4 or e4, we have bishop to f5, rook to c1, we have uh, rook to c8 and now c4 played by Stockfish 16, rook to e8, knight to e5. This is now the first move by Stockfish that's announcing that this whole dynamics of the game could change that maybe the structure uh, in the center of the board uh, could change that the position will not simply get too static uh, for a taste because after move knight to e5 here knight to d7 was played by clover and stockfish supports now his main space advantage the powerful knight on e5 now in the center of the board and now after move knight to e5 uh, f d takes e5 was played here by stockfish 16 suddenly the structure is not so symmetrical anymore Sun suddenly the structure is unbalanced and we have now a beautiful beautiful position in which of course uh white has now this five versus four situation on the king side so it's an unbalanced position it's an asymmetrical position on the other hand black is of course here a uh, majority on the queen side has this four versus three situation here on the queen side so what to do here here clover simply continued with queen to b6 hitting the queen because uh, using now uh this weaknesses on the art which is of course a good choice here by clover stockfish plays an interesting rook to f2 covers with the rook which is in some occasions not so good to do because the king is a little bit stuck to the defense of the rook on f2 it's overloaded uh, to the defense of the rook but still stockfish always played not only only defensively here he plays also actively here with the rook because stockfish wants still to keep his options here with the rook on the f file we have e6 uh if you play something like rook from c to d8 then the issue is you get c5 you get simply kicked away and it's a common motif that stockfish will try now through the whole game play simply c5 locking the position on the queen side because as we said 
black has simply the advantage on the queen side so the c5 motif is a very very important motif that stockfish will also play in the later stage of the game so here rook to after rook to f2 we have e6 by clover so clover is trying now to reroute the bishop to f8 and then to get it on c5 because stockfish has really some worries on dark rooks how to handle this worse first of all h3 here by play by stockfish and now rook from e to d8 the queen is a little bit endangered on the e file but again stockfish is playing not only a defensive move stockfish is using now the queen on e1 in order also to get it maybe to, to, to g3 and then create attacking chances so as i said stockfish is not only playing defensive moves stockfish always finds good counter-attack possibilities so after move queen to e1 we have now the move h5 and now stockfish plays again this beautiful idea with the move c5 simply paralyzes now the whole queen side because that's the most important move even here because black has as i said the advantage on the queen side now stockfish neutralized this advantage by playing the move c5 and the issue is that, that you cannot take you cannot play knight to c5 because because you get bishop to c5 even if you cover uh with the bishop on f8 then knight to f3 with the preparation to play the move b4 is crucial here even if you get back here with the queen then we we'll simply play a4 and you can i think now sacrifice only the knight for these two pawns if you again step back then b4 is going to happen and i think the game is over here for black so see c5 very very important move in the preparation to first defend the queen side and then to create attacking chances on the king side so queen to c7 was played by clover we have bishop to f1 showing also the cards a little bit here because the knight is a little bit exposed here on a6 uh, so stockfish is trying to play e4 and then bishop to a6 and after b, b takes a6 this could be a messed up pawn structure then on the queen side uh here bishop to f8 was played by uh, the clover engine and in this move stockfish shows i think its mean plans that actually bishop to f8 okay it makes sense in the beginning that you're trying uh, to attack the c5 pawn but you are also uh, liberating some file against your king so i wanted to show you also what's the actual issue of this particular position for black for instance if black plays now a passive move let's see a really stupid move here by uh, by black then the issue is this one uh, this is now the main attacking motif that will go on now through the whole game first we play e4 after d takes e4 now we hit the knight as i said that's the most important positional move here for uh, for white this wasn't played in the game but i wanted to show you several threats that could have happened in this game after bishop to a6 b takes a6 and now we play g4 look at this h takes g h takes g you take and now with knight to e4 the knight comes in a beautiful way into the game d6 weeks f6 weeks we play rook to h2 queen to h4 will deliver checkmate probably on the h file uh there's a beautiful beautiful attacking harmony here uh although you have several life score problems the bishop is lonely here so you will probably not include the queen somehow into the game the game is over here for black so see um that's the issue the main motive is e4 followed with bishop takes a6 so that's why bishop to f8 so clover is trying to somehow change the direction of the attack but as i said the bishop was also a good defensive piece on the g file and stockfish is saying show me what you got you got no no further defensive chances because stockfish lets the position explode again with this beautiful motif g4 h takes g h takes g we have bishop to g4 and now rook to h2 anyway preparing of course queen to h4 and then queen to h7 checkmate we have bishop to c5 who cares stockfish never counts pawn simply gets out of this mess and look at this bishop loses on g4 many dark core problems uh here in front of black skin so what to do here in the game bishop to h5 was played by clover trying of course to lock the uh lock the h file stockfish continues with the beautiful f5 simply is trying to really really somehow to let the position explode in front of black's king and now king to f8 here clover is trying to run away stockfish continues with queen to g3 and now after move e takes f5 now comes a beautiful tactic rook to h5 here in this position even if you try to escape with your king here maybe to e7 instead of playing uh, e takes f5 this is still not working because again of the same motif e4 that we have talked about in the beginning and you look at this now in this position now the bishop is even on c5 so the main tactical threat is now even wilder because we'll play simply bishop takes a6 and after b takes a6 we'll hit the bishop on c5 so uh, whatever you do for instance if you play d takes e4 we can even 
allow here black to keep his pieces on the board with knight to e4 but look at this f4 g takes f5 we play queen to h4 and now even the knight is coming in a beautiful way into the game even if you play something like as i said rook to h8 uh, here then this is the main motif bishop to a6 and then rook to c5 is winning the game here on spot four uh for white so these are the issues the as i said the problem is now that you cannot escape with your king towards the queen side Black would love, of course, to play that, but Stockfish uh, had, as I said, different tactical opportunities. So after move queen to g3, that's why e takes f5. But Stockfish sacrifices the exchange. Look at this, how weak now the position in front of Black's king is now. Really, really wild stuff. Stockfish includes now the bishop into the game, queen to uh, a5, and again, Stockfish plays a beautiful defensive move, but not only that Stockfish is defending the, knight, defending the knight, it also creates attacking chances here with queen to h6, king to e8. So uh, here uh, Clover is trying desperately to, to run away with the king, but it's not working. Bishop to f5 stops, of course, the escape route for the king. We have a knight to c7. Even if you play something like, I don't know, rook to a8 to get somehow uh, with your rook out of this attack, then is simply e6 is winning the game look at this we simply take and now after a couple more moves you can get even checkmated by the bishops and queens activity also in some lines the rook can come into the game so the game is over also the bishop is supporting any attack so it's game over for black for sure so after move bishop you have five as we said knight to c7 was clover's move uh trying to get maybe the knight on e6 but stock which continues simple with the normal plan hits now the weak pawn on f7 and what you do here if you play knight to e6, it seemed to me in the beginning as a logical choice that you putting the knight on a good score, on a good defensive score, but it's simply not working. Bishop to e6, f takes e6, the queen comes into the game, now we deliver a check, and after a couple more moves, you can get even checkmated if you run here to d7. If you run here to e8, again, it's not working because now after a couple of checks that you get, uh, also here e6 is working, and even if you try rook to c7, then look at this. Bishop to f6, what's going to happen? You have to now take it out, and now uh, even some wild lines with bishop to c c3 discovered check and attack against the queen is winning the game here on spot for white so as i said this was our analysis after potential knight to e6 still it's not working the king is naked here the rooks are far away from the defense of the king so game over for sure so after move rook to f1 that's why queen to uh, b4 was played by clover maybe trying somehow to get the queen into the game trading off but it's not working queen to h5 anyway we have king to e7 queen to g5 a check and now again after queen to h5 in this particular position clover resigns so let's see what's the issue why did black really resign here because after again king to e7 we can play the normal bishop to c8 after rook to c8 we hit this one and now uh, even bishop to c3 for instance is a beautiful uh, line that wins the game for for white this wasn't played in the game as i said after queen to h5 uh here clover resigned but let's see as i said we simply take it out and now bishop to c3 deflects now the queen from the defense of this square because the queen when it created this battery created at least uh, some defensive chances around the square e7 now we deliver a new check and you cannot do anything now uh queen to uh, g8 look at this you have to cover now with the bishop but as i said the queen is not there anymore on b4 where it could defend the bishop and now it's of course a beautiful checkmate on f8 also other possibilities were possible of course for uh, for black uh, but i really don't want to show you every possible line it's obvious that the king is naked and in any lines uh, white is winning the game for sure so poo, great attack by stockfish out of the seemingly static position out of the positional battle stockfish created really great great dynamics and i think you can use this king's indian attack method with this outpost of the knight on e5 really interesting i think uh setup uh, let's go here um after knight to e5 so we're trying to do something here and then after knight to d7 f4 creates of course some weaknesses here but we have seen stockfish created madness h3 g4 e4 uh broke the position on the king side really amazing attack here by stockfish 16 in the king's indian attack okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting theory here by stockfish 16 if you want to see more epic and brutal tactical games like this check out our comments chess games played by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course